Jake Kolb with L2 Realty Inc. I'm here with Greg Wyrick, owner of Wyrick Farms. Greg, why don't you tell us a little bit about this place? Let's kind of start with the acreage. This home place um, is 240 acres. And you've got a main house, and then you've got yeah. the camp house, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, the main house is four bedrooms. Two baths. Two baths. Uh, it's about, I think, 2,300 square foot. Mm -hmm. This, this was just a little tiny farmhouse, 900 square foot. My sons and I, we had a, a, a 900 foot addition put on, me and my sons finished it, put all new windows and new flooring in, had a new bathrooms put in. It's got, we got six, there's six, there's two bedrooms, six bunks, two bathrooms, two full bathrooms, and my game room, which is kind of my man cave. I'd hate to leave this thing, man. So, so. It's got a, what, a 40 by 60 shed. It's got my weight room in it and got my tractors in it. It used to be where we cooked and cooked right. in. Yes, sir. Back when Jake was a younger man and come back with the came out with the youth group. Youth group, here. yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, yes. when he was young. I got another another shed that it was uh, a granary actually and it and it opens up. I got my dog kennels that open up and go into there. I got whelping kennels. Uh one of them's got an air conditioner if it gets too hot for the puppies. A big exercise yard though, Jake. That that thing right. is yeah. helped me because it's all connected and love my runs. It's just made for hunters. It's yeah. made for hunters. It's got great habitat. I got pictures right now of, I think, nine does and four, three bucks back there. Well, well, tell me a little bit more about the habitat. You said, uh, I think you said there was maybe about 15 acres of food plots. There's 22, I, I think so. There's, tw I think, 22 acres of food plots because we we're just trying to figure that up, trying to mm -hmm. figure out the Milo seed I needed, you yes, know. Yes, sir. And, and uh, we keep, we plant them every year and it's just a diversity of habitats while you got it. it for, for, for wildlife, you need a diversity of habitat. And back there, is, it, it's got big grass, we got plum thickets. We've been haying here, we, we grow some horse quality hay because I've been doing this and you, you hay a third of the CRP every year. And, it, and, and, and it, every third year it comes back. And there's, I can't say it's weed free, but it's 99% weed free. Mm -hmm. And I got horse guys that love it. And so it makes, creates edges. I counted up two years ago and my, my edges on my property is created into five miles of edge and edge is the key. So, so you're saying that you're gonna get some return off of your CRP, you're gonna get return off of your hay, and in the meantime, you're improving the habitat and creating edges and, for your wildlife. And whatever money you make from, from hunting, or if you, if you do that. Right. So we've, we've talked a little bit about deer. Uh, tell me a little bit about the pheasant yeah. hunting. First Quail of all, hunting. First of all, it's all wild. Yeah, well, they're, they're, it, it, the wild, obviously wild birds vary, you know? Sure. I, I would call it an average habitat right now for, I mean, population of pheasants. Mm -hmm. I did see, honestly, I've seen some, a bunch of quail. So basically anybody that's looking for just a, a, an individual or a family hunting area, we've got that covered. Uh, if someone's looking to get into outfitting or something like that, we've got some options there that they could look at and explore. I, I, I've, I've been on, I've been interviewed and, and been on the Wichita Eagle back page for the outdoors yes, two sir. times. And I was in a Diamond 12 Outfitters a couple of years ago where when Wildlife and Park was was with um, was with the tourism, Kansas Tourism yep, Division, yep. and I was didn't know it. I was kind of honored. I was one of the top twelve outfitters in the state of Kansas, and this is the this is the main place. And I've been outfitting here for over twenty years. Yeah. I bought it. I bought this property in two thousand. Okay. And so for twenty years, I've been up up in the hay and up in the habitat and the pasture, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. it. It's to me, it's a cool place and. I hope somebody gets it that loves it like I do.